Yo, what is up guys? Um, welcome to a brand new video of the course. This is episode, I don't know which one, but we're going to be speaking about the mana supply flips. So let's get right into it. And then let me just scroll down anywhere because I don't want to know what the price is. Oh, the shit has expired. What the fuck? Damn, that's crazy. I didn't know that. Well, yeah, I'll fix it later on. But yeah. Um. Anyway, we could. Uh, I could just show you in previews. Uh, data, you know, and uh, what are we gonna speak of? You know, demand the supply flips, and what, what, am I, what am I meaning by that? Let me write it down here so we keep that in our minds. Demand supply flip. So, uh, whenever a demand zone or a supply zone gets disrespected, meaning that price fails to hold that given zone, uh, you want to look at the supply that caused that zone to fail, and uh, in order, like you know, uh the zone that causes that is a good zone to you know looking for potential sales right and what i would do is obviously it's going to be a 15 minute demand but it could be four hour one hour demands would be better more beneficial and why is this because when a one minute demand zone fails that is not really important because you're probably just getting the wrong demand zone or just they want to mitigate more demand zones and take more liquidity right so this is a decent 15 minute demand zone as you can can see that causes break of structure to the upside very nicely uh, this was also nice price action just a whole run upwards so now let's get here now so what do we see you know we see this demand zone fail right and the actual cause like we have different zones that cause these demand zones to fail now we don't get a retracement unfortunately because i would love to show you that but i could show you probably around here uh, with this wick, which was also a very very nice wick into multiple point of interest. Let me show that first So we get that out of the way. So essentially this is also a very very valid zone as you guys can see and now what do we see right here? Our demand doesn't fail yet Which if you took this uh, buy right here, that would have been a very valid buy For example price comes into your POI right here Or not even here. I think it was No, I never it was this POI my bad so price comes into your POI, right? What do you have? You have like a break of structure right there. Let's say you enter right here. Stop loss to be like this. And then you take profit would have been, you could have taken these highs or you could have taken these highs. Especially with news, yeah, it's going to be hard to take. You know, I would probably go for this high personally. But you could have maybe taken a partial here. But um, anyway, this just shows that you know, we got a mitigation of this supply zone and this supply zone actually later on is the cause of this demand zone to fail right and that's very important if you want to look at um you know zones that get failed you want to look at the reason why it got failed which is this supply zone right here and i could give you a better example and that's also most likely whenever price you know sh uh, shifts from bullish to bearish and we could see that right here maybe uh, for example yeah we could maybe see that right like what do you what do you actually want is like price it's like support and resistance flip right but then in a better way for example what do you have right here you have like this demand zone right here for example what does price do you know price fails at demand zone first of all then price comes back into a demand zone mitigates that and then goes down right so you would have caught a nice little setup right here so this should supply zone and that's a one to well you know on the lower time frame you're gonna have a better entry you could maybe have like something like this it's a one to four that's very very nice going so we could look on the one minute and see what you could have taken right there um well yeah that that's actually kind of annoying that my premium ran out but essentially as you guys can see this was the reason our demand zone failed we had that break of structure as well so what do you do you kind of take out this zone right here and I would, uh, you know, take this on the 15 minute, but this also works. Now, what do you see? A nice little tap in your zone. Let's say you enter based off this break of structure right here. Um, let me take a, take it like this, and then you get you you catch a nice 2.5, 2.6 hours. So that is a nice trade within 15 minutes. But the reason why I'm showing you this is not the reason to take trades based off this, but it's just to take. Uh, into consideration whenever you're going for any positions uh, for example whenever you let's say for example we're on the 15 minute and my the demand zone fails right and i'm wondering what am i doing next what's the next zone to look at right and the next zone to look at is obviously another demand zone but 
you always want to keep an eye on the given supply zone because the reaction that got caused here could also be a reaction like this right it could also be a whole rundown which in this fact it did not but it could and this could also sign for an early early reversal so it's very important to you know know that these things exist and i could also show you on the 15 minute very very nicely what do we have here you know we have this supply zone right or you could even have that supply zone up there right so what do you have you have the supply zone or even this one let's say this one for example we have the supply zone now this supply zone fails and the cause of this supply zone being failed is like there's multiple causes but we, we could you know take this zone right here and if you scale down to the five minute because this is like more of a lower time frame thing as you guys can see it's like this zone right so this supply zone got uh failed by this demand zone for example and then price action come back really nicely and then you get a buy off this break of structure right here for example uh, you're targeting probably this high so that's a one to five done in you know about 16 18 19 hours so that's a very very nice setup but personally i don't take those setups i just show you these uh, type of stuff because you want to consider them whatever price does because essentially what price does is sometimes price fails your demand and supply zone which is very, very normal but you want to look for the cause right you always want to know why given demands or supply zones fail because you don't want to be you don't want to be in shock or you don't want to be in no uh information you want to know why every moves happens or occurs and then this and in this scenario you know supply zone failed because let's say for example you were bearish on the 15 minute which could have been okay you could have been bearish right here on the four hour of course we were bullish but let's say you were bearish right here could have taken internal sales right which i'm saying again i don't take internal sales i only respect my higher time frame bias this is also why I had an 88% win rate this week. Uh, I had I had six wins, one loss. I made 90%, 19%. Uh, I can also show you guys the payout if nobody believes me. Of course, you guys are not going to not believe me. But yeah, as you guys can see, 7,600 payout made. So essentially, um, yeah, that's just by knowing what price is doing. And that's the, that's the thing about SMC concepts is you know what price does. And... Yeah, that's a nice thing about it like for example like this this was a your four hour demand zone for example this demand zone got failed right and the demand zone got filled right here by this supply zone now what do you see you first of all purge the highs you take the liquidity which you speak spoken about in the previous video and what what does you know price action do it actually does not take that liquidity yet it takes those highs to actually form the triple top so we could actually see some more sales maybe into next week because you actually form a triple top right here so that is some analysis to look into for next week but essentially price reacts off this zone that caused you know our demand zone to fail and very very nicely price reacts off that so this is essentially the demand is fly flip i know it's a so short video but um i just wanted to top this off quickly and just um you know that you know that these zones exist and these are also the reasons why some zones fail which is you know the supply zone causing the demand zone to fail which is something you should keep an eye on and also always should mark on your chart because at the end of the day price could bounce and you could price reacts off here and you could just say that this is a random reaction but in reality it's just a very nice reaction of your supply fail i know this was a short video but it's just going to be a quick one just because to get this down i hope it made sense so thanks for watching and peace out